Okay guys, so we are left off with the input. So we have the input, uh, very nice. So now let's get on with with actually doing the interactable. So let's go back to the script and and inter I should make an interaction folder. So let's make an interaction system folder. Let's call it interaction underscore system. And now we have to create few things. So we'll create first uh, uh, interface. So let's make a new C sharp script. Let's call it I interactable. I interactable. And let's click enter. So now let's double click on it to open it. Actually, the video is rendering in the background. So maybe, maybe uh, it's not that fast. Like maybe my computer will not be uh, that fast. So anyway, we have this interface and we can delete the void and start method because we will not need them and we will add the namespace. You you can't uh, you can not add the namespace like uh, you can serp like you can just skip this point. But I like to add my own namespace because I like to keep it uh, organized. But you can just delete the namespace and just don't care about those namespaces. They 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 doesn't matter basically. So it, uh, it will not derive from mono behavior because it's an interface and <clears throat> it's not a class because it's an interface. So if you write interface, it should be okay. Interface. So now let's talk about interface. So we'll have few variables that will be needed in every interactable. So if you have door, which is interactable, or you have uh, a switch on your door, which is also in the inter interactable, they will all share the same. They will all share few properties that are the same. So let's write them down. So you have first, let's write load all duration and write it with the capital capital letter because interfaces, they accept only properties. They don't ask, accept uh, variables. So if I write like full whole duration uh, interface, just basically they, they doesn't accept it. So you have to make the property from it. So we will have the get, which, which will be basically the property. So you can get this whole duration from the other script. You have this get, and we can also add the set, but I think that, uh, we will not need it because we will not set it outside the class outside from the other script. We will just uh, like set it internally. So it will be private set. So you just don't write it. Just leave the get alone. So this is the f only float that we will use. Now we will have three bulls. So you have bull, which is called halt interact. And this will be responsible whether we want to halt to interact with stuff or we just want to click one time and it will be used. So let's add another bool. And also the property you can, uh, okay, let's I will write it first. So we have multiple use, as I said, uh, some some interactables can be used multiple times, like the switch on the door. So you can switch it off, switch it on, switch it off, etc. And I write it like in the short way, like because I write it in one line, but typically you can write it like this. So it will like this. But if you have only get, I prefer to write it uh, in one, one line. So I will just make it back so you have it in one line so it's a bit weird but never mind so let's add another bool which is is interactable so this property will define whether uh, the interactable is interactable so for example you have the door and you need a key for it so first it will not be interactable since you don't have the key. But once you have a key, it will be interactable. And this flag will tell it if it's interactable or not. And the cool thing about property that is you can make some special conditions in their body once where you get the value, but I will show it later. So one more thing we need is a method that will be shared that will every class 
that will implement this interface will have it so it will be called on interact so what will happen once we interact with this stuff so if you interact with the door it will open if you interact with the switch it will turn on the light on or if you interact with uh, i don't know um, the drink uh, it will be drink drinking yeah so it's an empty method it's just uh, like I, I don't know how to say it in english but this basically says that you every class that will implement it will have to implement this on interact and make a special body for it like special body for it because now this is empty empty method it's just a signature that uh that just says that you have to have this method so this is our interactable it's done and we will not touch it more but uh remember about those stuff so first let's go back to the unity and we will create first interactable with which will implement this i interactable and it will be called interactable base interactable base so which will this will be a base class for all interactables that will be further uh like further deriving from this interactable base so let's create a new c sharp script called interactable base let's click on it and let's wait for unity okay once you have it let's delete uh, update and start because we will need them later <laughs> so I, I, I like to delete it at the beginning so we want to implement this i interface i interactable interface so you just write comma and you write i interactable but there it's not here because i don't have the namespace so i have to add the namespace i think that you probably don't have the namespace but i think you should start using namespaces because they are good practice so you have this i interactable once you uh, implement it it will mark it as red if you have like smart uh, code editor but if you don't it will not mark it as red and this basically basically means that we don't uh, we haven't implemented some things that I interactable require required us to implement so as you can see I have it in polish so it basically means that uh, this doesn't implement blah blah so if I click control dot i have visual studio code i can implement their interface the code editor can implement it for me like uh, automatically which is great but i will not use it because i think that may someone some of you may may not have it so i will not implement it so uh, i will not uh, use the automatic version so let's i will drag this i interactable to this side like to the right so i'll have these two views and I can see what I need to implement. So first we have to implement float hold duration. So let's write public float hold duration. And it's the property. So we have to return something. So as I said before, uh, you have this Lambda expression, like you can do a property like this. So you get and you return something, but we don't have nothing to return yet. So we have to create few variables that we will return. So let's make those variables first. So there will be like general variables. So I'll make a header, header that is called general, like interact, interactable settings, interactable settings. And I'll change it later because I want to use not the attributes, but uh, maybe not for the tutorial so it will be what we will need a public float called hold duration and it will be from small letter or du hold duration it's the first variable that we will need and we will need a few bulls so it will be public bool called interact multiple multiple use and one more bool for is interactable and actually okay and 
that are all the variables that we need for now. And let's add a space here so it will separate the float and pools. And now we can actually make the properties that have to be implemented. So first let's make the hold duration. So it will be public from the capital letter hold pub we want to return float, so it will be float hold duration from capital letter. And we want to basically return, like we want to write get, and we want to return hold duration, which is this var variable here. But as you can see, this has a lot of lines and I don't like that. And if you, use the new version, you can write simply like this, which is very beautiful for me at least, because I'm a, a I don't know, minimalistic guy. You can write lambda expression, like lambda expression and you just write variable hold duration and you have everything in one line, which is, wow, like amazing. So this basically was this, like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, never mind guys. Yeah, I will just use the new one, but if you have the old one, you just uh, have to use the old property. So first property is implemented. Now we have to implement the others. So public bool, uh, it will be called hold interact. And we want to return hold interact. And you can see the pattern. So I will just try to speed it up, multiple use. Okay, and one more, which is public bool is interactable from the capital I. And yeah, we have all the, all the properties that we need, but we still need, if I hover here, it says that I still need to implement the method that we said before. So I will add space here. So. I will write public, public void, and the method's name was called oninteract. And I can leave it empty. So once I've done it, you can see that this is no longer red, which means that we we did everything that it requ required us to do. So now I want to segregate it a bit. So I will write at the region uh, for variables. So I'll write region variables and this will basically help me separate the code so I will just make a tab so they will go out so I have region for variables I ha will have the region for uh, properties And I will have a region for basically classes, uh, not classes, for methods. Region methods. And here will be end region. And region. So it helps me a lot with organizing my code. So for example, here, what will happen on the interact? Let's, for the test, we will write debug that log called like we will write the message called interacted and we'll add the game of the name of the game object so yeah so this will happen once we interact with it but i think that uh, this is um, good guys like we created the i interactable interface and we created the base class that uh, later on will be up we will change it to abstract but for now it's uh, it's good and i think uh, the time is also good to end the episode here so i think we can end it here so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or you don't understand something or i speak too fast just let me know in the comments and i will try to explain you guys everything so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.